Time now for the Executive Edge. New rules for the 2021 Oscars this year. The Academy's Board of Governors approved what they're calling a temporary change that would allow streamed films to be eligible for its award ceremony. It said its commitment to viewing movies in a theater is unchanged, but the pandemic necessitates a temporary exemption. There's one catch, though, and it's an important one. The Academy says for a movie to be eligible, it must have previously planned to be released in theaters. The Academy had previously, of course, been in a wild battle over the past couple of years with streaming services like Netflix uh, over how this was all supposed to work. Uh, but you can see there uh, that uh, this is going to change, potentially change the game to some degree. And the question, of course, is long term, does it really uh, change the game so that Netflix films and other films like it uh, end up being eligible as well? Becky. And uh, Andrew, speaking of uh, streaming battles, our parent company, NBC Universal, has found itself in a fight with theaters. At issue, that Wall Street Journal report that we talked about here yesterday that said that the sequel to Trolls had been more profitable for Universal than the original because of its on demand release. NBC Universal CEO Jeff Schell told the journal that when theaters reopen, the company expects to release movies in theaters and on demand. That led theater chain AMC to ban Universal Studios films from all of its theaters globally. Universal responded, saying, We absolutely believe in the theatrical experience and have made no statement to the contrary. Going forward, we expect to release future film films directly to theaters, as well as on premium video on demand, when that distribution outlet makes sense. And guys, this kind of gets back to the whole idea of those um, contracts that the theaters have. I think they're pretty strict. I, I think that for 90 days, those theaters have exclusivity. They can do what they want with it. They can decide to take you out of the theaters, and you still have no recourse to go about kind of showing things differently. And I think uh, this is just a sign of the times as people's behavior, watching behavior is changing, and, and what the consumer wants is, is changing, too. I mean, Trolls worked out, right? Did you, did you rent that as an enter yeah. family entertainment yet? Either did. one? You did? How yeah. about you, uh, Yeah, we did. Sorkin? We did the day we opened. Yeah. We, we haven't done it yet. We've talked about it, and, and, and we hope to. The issue, of course, though, is the margin for all of the, the media companies. So, yes, Trolls has worked mm -hmm. to some degree, but when you think about it, we were talking about it, I think, on the air just yesterday or, or the day earlier with, with Becky, the idea that you spend 20 bucks on a film, if you'd gone with a, a family of four, you would have ended up spending uh, you know, a lot, lot more. Now, some percentage of that would have gone to the theater, of course, but for a lot of these blockbuster movies that have huge costs and not just production costs, but marketing costs associated with them, uh, the question, of course, is whether the whole economic machine of them will still work. And, right. and I think that's that's a big I, part I don't, of this. I don't think any of these companies want to go without the theaters. I just think that the theaters have a pretty a tight iron grip on how things work. They've got kind of sweetheart deals that don't reflect the new way of streaming and all of these other situations. Of course, they would like to keep... Um, the, the grip that they have on all of those things. But yeah. if you are a, a company that's coming up with content, you obviously are trying to shift and try and keep up with the times, too. So it, 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 probably not a surprise that it would come to a head. Uh, you can see it happening with the pandemic and that being the reason for it causing that when the theaters are closed and you can't go there anywhere. Sure. I will miss the popcorn. Now. It's just not, you can't really replicate that. I guess you need one of those machines, right? And that fake... Uh, the butter machines? That fake butter or whatever. And, and you know what? The nachos with that lava, that yellow lava that they... Oh, my uh, God, that is so bad for you. How? In what way? Like feel no. your... You can probably feel your arteries hardening. Have you no, ever in looked every at the way, Joe, in every things? way. I know. I know, you're right.